I'm sitting here in the sanctuary of Columbus United Methodist Church, actually sitting here for the final time. This church voted to close as a congregation, and our last day together was supposed to have been Easter, but because of the pandemic, we had to postpone that. And so we postponed it till the final Sunday of April, and the pandemic is still going on. Um, I just am nostalgic. I really served here for two months, and then the pandemic has gone on for you know, over a month, and so I've been at home. But I picked up today um, the bulletin from the dedication service from this church. So this church was dedicated in 1968, and Bishop Hunt was the bishop. This was in the Marion District, I believe. And so here's a prayer that was for the dedication of this beautiful sanctuary. Beloved in the Lord, we rejoice that God put it in the hearts of his people to build this house to the glory of his name. I now accept this building to be known as the Columbus United Methodist Church, to dedicate it and set it apart for the worship of Almighty God and the service of all. Let us, as we are assembled, solemnly dedicate this place to the proper and sacred uses, to the glory of God the Father who has called us by his grace, to the honor of his Son who loved us and gave himself for us, to the praise of the Holy Spirit who illumines and sanctifies us, we dedicate this house. For the worship of God in prayer and praise, for the preaching of the everlasting gospel, for the celebration of the holy sacraments, for the comfort of all who mourn, for strength to those who are tempted, for light to those who seek the way, we dedicate this house. In the unity of the faith, in the bond of Christian brotherhood, in charity and goodwill to all, we dedicate this house in gratitude for the labors of all who love and serve the church, in loving remembrance of those who finished their course, in the hope of a blessed immortality through Jesus Christ our Lord, we dedicate this house. We, the people of this church and congregation, compassed about with a great cloud of witnesses, grateful for our heritage, sensible of the sacrifice of our fathers and the faith, confessing that apart from us, their work cannot be made perfect, do dedicate ourselves anew to the worship and service of Almighty God through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so for all of these reasons, this sanctuary was dedicated to God in 1968. And in those times, uh, this sanctuary has seen, goodness, baptisms and marriages it's seen memorial services this congregation has served in the community and helped form the thermal belt outreach ministries uh, people from all over the community know this as the church that sponsors peach day and they've come here for peach ice cream and other peach desserts this congregation has uh, joined with other congregations in the community to offer vacation Bible school for many, many years. And so for all of these, we are just, I'm grateful and I'm grateful to God for the work that God has done here. This congregation of Columbus United Methodist Church was organized as a part of Christ's Holy Church and of the UMC. It was God's gift for a season. We're thankful for the many ways it has served the mission given to it by Jesus Christ. It has accomplished its purpose. We declare that it is no longer a United Methodist congregation and is now disbanded, but Christ's holy church is of God and will be preserved to the end of time. We remain part of Christ's ongoing church. As we scatter into other congregations, we shall still be one with Christ and one with each other and one in ministry to all the world until Christ comes in final victory and we feast at his heavenly banquet. And on this day, I just want to leave uh, this place with a 
prayer, um, a closing prayer as we um, close out our time here. Oh God, as in your great goodness, you have blessed the many ministries carried on by this congregation in this building. So now and in the days and years to come, we pray that you may greatly bless your many ministries and your ongoing church. Bless those persons who have worshiped in this building and will now be worshiping in other places and other buildings. As disciples of the risen Christ, may we be channels at all times of your steadfast love through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And so from the Apostle Paul, who said, this one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead, I press on toward the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And so today um, we do mourn and we grieve the loss of this congregation, but we do press on toward the goal, knowing that there is more of um, God's goodness to come. I'm going to leave with just a quick um, panning of this sanctuary and I pray that even though we are now turning over this building back to the Western North Carolina conference that we will have some opportunity after this pandemic to come together in some shape or form and celebrate all the ministries that God has made possible in this space.